you, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <coughs> Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Really? Certainly, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. I'm working. <coughs> if I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. If you want the money, you'll have to wait. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want... You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Please. Please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Let's go, boy.
help! You there! Please help me! Oh, come on, Val! Is a goddamn menace. You saved me, partner. Woo. I was almost a meal there. Yeah. Yeah. Here I took a little jolt and I managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? Well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know. I'm just visiting. Uh, I I'm from New York City, actually. Will you slow down? So anyway, as I was saying... You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Shit! Turns out I was made the fool! Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. N no offense. Little taken. Wake up, wake up. This isn't a race. Yes, this does look familiar. Oh, are we close to town? Sir, you've rescued me from the depth. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. 
I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como O'Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? You might want to step back a bit. Get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum the moment I laid eyes on you. Something of mine. My guns. I showed him. 
And I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. In a house call in the middle of all that ain't much I care about more than those guns that much is clear who was that fella skinny yeah we ran together for a while did a bank job down south didn't end well I saw how it goddamn ended he was gonna let me hang I'm starting to wish I had and you owe Lenny too idiot he hadn't found us in time Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Whoa! I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you to liven it up by letting me help you shoot up half a town. <laughs> You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, <clears throat> sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah.
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Hey. Just... Hey. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Ah! Not again, Arthur. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's... Make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, he 
You can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Wait. Taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lean all those boots you got there, eh? Those are very nice. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there! up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess.
Still time. Let's push forward. On top of the tower, who's got a shot on him? Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot at Charles Adam's stomach. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I well, imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no, no doubt. Do I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so, so well. well. Please. I, this is James. James. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Respective new partner. partner. If he likes it, like him, he ain't the problem. Trust it is, as I said, he give voices down. I don't, I don't want my boss here. This is a sideline. Of course. Good look as honest as they lay as long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves to this pile we're talking about. Good, good day, Isaiah. Good, good luck with your business dealings. Dealings. Listen, uh, I'm rough and ready and quick with his time, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. And you're not old, Shane. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. When we're not idiots, let us prove it to you. Okay. okay. I'll tell you what. I think. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Go, go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. Do you want us to take out your competition? Well, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. You see, I have that. Where is he? He's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called, called Carmody Dell. It's, it's just a train train tracks. tracks. You head, you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's, there's also some money in that house, but that's your business, business. Not, not mine. But don't kill nobody. 
Folks, no, we ain't intimate no more. No, no, it was me. If you're fine with us, Rob, Kirkus. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Up ahead. We, we should go on foot from here. Let's let's see what we're dealing with. Come on, come on. There's the house. You see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. I'll get the coach. Could you can drive the house. Or, or wait, wait until morning. Now, now, head over. Distract them by putting on a little show. Will you sneak in the house, find what you can, and I'm gonna get this stage coach. What do you think? Let's do it now. All right, all right. All right, all right. We're ready. Let's, let's go. Maybe. Take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make, make sure it's all quiet.
Get out there, boy. Seamus, and we met your cousins. How was it? Hi, nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here, but quickly. Let's work, Jose. Mostly Arthur, like, like I said, of course, but I'm competent here. here. Thank you. If I find any other coaches that need to sell them, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. Keep coming. Ah, I'll, I'll catch, catch up with you later. Okay. okay. Stay out of trouble. Yeah. 